Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to my next video on Apache Hive. In this video, I'll be talking about complex data types. So guys, uh, if I talk about complex data types, these are also known as nested types, which allows storing multiple values within a single or single row or column position in a Hive table. In the case of Apache Hive, guys, we have three complex types, which I'll be discussing today, which are array, map and struct i'll be using one se separate example for helping you understand the meaning of array meaning of map and meaning of struct before we start with our today's implementation and i'll be uh, first i'll be showing you my data which i'll be loading to my three different tables which i'll be creating for my array map and struct so guys let's see the data first so first uh, file I'm having in front of you is my tmp.txt. This file I'll be using for my array example. And in this case, I'm having a, a three columns which are separated by a tab. And in this case, you can see that uh, the third column is a, is a kind of an array which are separated by a comma. Similarly, second file is of for my map type. And in this case, I'm having three columns. The first column is kind of a city column. Second, we can say we can see is a gender column. Third, it is a, a column which is consisting of key and value pairs. And last, we have a struct. In the case of struct, we have a three columns. And the three columns, guys, you can see here that first column is all about, we can say, uh, a name. Second is uh, something like a city. And third is something like a address. So guys, these three files I'll be using for my three different tables and the reason for displaying you in first because so that while I write a command on my hive shell, you not be facing any difficulty in understanding. So guys, let's start with the first uh, table creation for my array. And guys, I hope you know what is array. Array is nothing but a, uh, a collection of a similar things together like we can say it's a nothing but a collection of items of a similar data type and array can contain one or more values of a same data type that we have all have learned in our previous or my or basic programming languages as well so it's have a similar meaning or sim uh, similar significance here as well let's start with the first table creation to get it done so guys i've already opened up my hive shell and i'm working in my default data set so create table table name is temperature i'm keeping it temperature it's having three columns serial number which is of type integer uh, some kind of place which is of type string and uh, third i'm keeping as my temp is my uh, array name which is of type double so guys my schema i have specified right i hope it is fine yeah then we have to specify row format delimited Then we have to specify my fields terminated by tab because I've already have uh, make you see uh, my data, how it look like. Okay. So guys, uh, till this point, everything is same, What whatever I've already have discussed in my previous video of table creation, but we have to add one new thing, which will be specify, specifying how your array elements are separated. It is done. It is done with the help of collection items collection items terminated by comma okay that's it so guys uh, first of all we can check its uh, schema whether it's recognizing my types or not describe temperature it's fine it's working fine now let's load the file right so you know that for loading file we have a load data keyword available local in path give the local path it's available on my home uh, sorry on my home location of my local file system so let me give it as a complete path it is tmp.txt into so i have to specify my table name so I have, uh, my table name is uh, temperature let me load it Temp table temperature I hope everything is fine let's check out with the help of select star so 
So guys, you can see here that it is recognizing in a perfect way because uh, you can see uh, one to three is my integer. Second column is of my type uh, string and third, you can see that it is showing in the square brackets. It means it is recognizing the that it's an array. So we are done with this. Now, uh, if I can, uh, let's suppose I want to perform some operations. Let's suppose if I select place and let, let me check let me select some of its value okay i want to uh, get the index zero value from my array so how i can do my temp specify my index value means zero means first location from temperature you can see guys it is automatically recognizing my zeroth location data uh, XYZ ABC PQR because we are selecting place and is also recognizing uh, it's also specifying that uh, that we are selecting the zeroth index location because uh, the index start from zero in the case of arrays here yeah so I hope uh, you can understand that how things work that if I change this uh, let's suppose I want to now get the fourth location so I have to give three it means it's working fine I hope guys uh, you must have understood what is array and how we can make use of array in my hive. Let's go with the next type which is map. So guys in the case of map I hope you know map is a collection of key value pair where the fields uh, are accessed using the array notation of keys like we have to give the we have to specify how I want to uh, access the fields. So let me first uh, build up the table and then I'll be showing you how we can access those uh, key value pairs right from a map right so we know that map is not a new thing again for us it's available in scala it's available in java and in every language it's have a similar uh, meaning that it's a collection of key value pairs as i've already have shown you that in my data which have, i'm having for my for this table where i'll be using or demonstrating the map example it's have a key value pair available right let me show you again the second table this one you can see this is a key this is a value 2018 is my key which is my year and the value is the total number of males or females so let's do it guys uh, i'm having three columns first is city second is gender third is year so my second table is coming up guys create table let's suppose tab four something here first i'm giving some city which is of type uh, string then i'm having second column uh, which is uh, my gender it is of type string again and third guys third is my name of the collection and it is i'm keeping it as maybe c o double l okay and it is of type map and you know that in the case of map it is of type integer comma integer right okay so then we have to specify a row format delimited fields terminated by tab <coughs> sorry then guys you know that um, in the case of array example we have specified with the help of collection items like uh, because my array elements were uh, were separated by comma but in this case it is separated by colon the key and value pairs so i have to specify here first of all collection items because my collection items has been separated by comma and my key value pair separated by colon so we have to specify both so that my table can recognize how my how i'm loading my data to this table so first of all collection items which i've already used in my previous example items terminated by comma let me show you again why it is comma because you can see this is a comma this key value pair is separated by comma here to the next key value pair right that's the reason okay then we have to specify last which is map because as here uh, we are dealing with map so we have to specify how my map keys are separated terminated by colon right 
I hope uh, everything is right. So guys, uh, let me again summarize what we did. In this case, I'm having three columns, right? Uh, row format delimited. The fields means column names submitted by tab. Collection items terminated by comma because you have already made you see this time. And last, we have a map values or map keys, how they are separated with the column. Now guys, load data. Local in path. This time around, it is available in my map set, I guess. Yeah, map set. So it's again available on my home location. That's why, uh, sorry, in my local file system. That's why I'm using local keyword here. And uh, um, my home location is home amrit map set dot txt into table table name is tab four okay first of all let's describe the tab four you can see it's recognizing that is of type map and map is consisting of key as key of type integer value of, is of type integer and if i go with select star from tab four so guys it is recognizing that it's of map the last column right so i hope uh, you have understood that how we can make use of map i hope there's no issue with this let's suppose if i want to perform some queries on it like how i can uh, like fetch the data from a map let's suppose i'm looking for some data uh, of a year maybe 2020 let's suppose and uh, of a from a, some particular city right so let's let me do it in front of you select first of all specify your collection name which is co double l and i'm looking for some data in 2018 right uh, from tab 4 where the state or city sorry where the uh, city is equal to i'm keeping as maybe new york ny let's see whether it's giving me answer or not yes it's giving me answer guys you can see in the new york i'm having this as answer it means like uh, how we can recognize or how we can interpret this answer like in the case of new york you can see in the 18 year i'm having this much of males this much of females like this is how we can interpret interpret this answer right so if I can also go with the next next point, let's suppose now instead of looking for 18, I'm looking for 2020 year. So I'm just uh, adding one more condition here and gender. Gender is equal to, let's suppose I'm looking for male population maybe. How many males are there? Means meaning is how many males are there in 2020 from a city, New York. You can see it is this one 77711 right this is how guys we can make use of map i hope guys you must have understood that how we can make use of map and here comes my last uh, complex type which is called struct you know that struct is nothing but uh, it's a it's collection of uh, of a different data types it means that in the case of array we, we know that the data types will be of a same nature but here in the struct it will be of different nature that's the reason guys the third file which i'll be using today it's a struct and in this case the third column will be of type struct and that's the reason intentionally i'm keeping it as string and some kind of float value just to demonstrate the meaning of struct okay so in my third uh, set which i'm using i'm having again three columns uh, i'm keeping this as a kind of a name this is as a city this is as an address let's create a third table Create table um, tab five. Let's suppose city uh, first is name, I guess. Yeah, name of string type, some city of string type, and some info. Let's suppose I'm keeping at info. This is my uh, of type struct. So I have to specify struct and in this struct, the first one is, it is nothing but a, uh, some street. It is string and uh, last one, I'm keeping it as float. So we have to specify with the colon here, string and uh, 
some temperature maybe uh, yeah it is of type float right so i hope it is fine struct if we have a true two values under struct again row format delimited and uh, fields terminated by tab then collection items collection items you know that it is again comma in our case terminated by comma let's see if it's right or wrong right i'm getting okay it means everything is fine so guys i'm just revisiting it so in this case i'm having three columns name of type string city of type string info is my, the type is the name of my struct and in this case i'm having two values of a dissimilar data types one is of string one is of float rest everything is same let's see its uh, schema you can see it's of type struct let's load the data load data local in path and uh, it's available on my home struct i'm keeping it as into table tab 5 let's see it tab 5 yeah guys it's recognizing you can see it is recognizing that uh, my third column is of type struct right good so guys how to specify now how to like uh, access the elements of the struct so guys we have to do it with the do with the help of the uh, dot notation let me show you once one example select my struct name is info info dot let's suppose i want to select tmp i want to select temperature from tab 5 you can see i'm getting values of temperature similarly if i am going with the street i'll be getting all my street information that's it so i hope guys uh, you must have understood the uh, concept of three complex data types that we have used in apache hive in case guys uh, if you feel that something is not clear not understood properly please give me a feedback i'll be uh, waiting for your feedback thanks for watching guys see you next video